Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Dan Hendo Henderson. So an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control. He can find... All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situations. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Good punch, Lance. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Gotta love the clinch work here. Strong knees to the body landed there by Henderson. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Henderson's shot is blocked. Got clip with the right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Very nice leg kick there by Chuck Liddell. Big elbow there, lands. Try to establish that jab. Good stick. Big body kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Liddell's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Great punch. Slips the punch. Oh, single collar tie here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land. He's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Henderson. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. He's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice punch there by Henderson. Battle for position here. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. All right, single power time now. Just out of range with that left hook. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish his fight. Oh, straight right. He continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, 
Goldberg shot lands for him. Oh! Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. Missed with that attempt. Oh! So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. BC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land... All right, here we go with round two. Ooh, blocks the shot. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Henderson goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Punch over the top. Now connects with a right. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Kick to the body by Chuck Liddell. Man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Back to the feet now. Just over three minutes to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, a single collar tie there. All right, so volume uppercuts here on the clinch. That one looked like it really hurt. Better make some adjustments here. Got to make some adjustments. You cannot take those shots to the head like that. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Single collar tie now. Henderson's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there and closed quickly. one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Irishman, 
Chuck Liddell! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go into the after party?